two games down, mate. How, how's the body feeling? Uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. Uh, obviously, my first game was for, uh, round one, so I was pretty sore after that game. But um, surprisingly, after the trip from Perth, I'm actually feeling really well. And um, I'll be uh, training today, training Thursday, and back up again on Saturday. So uh, it's going really well, a lot better than what I expected. There haven't been too many signs of rust. How have you seen your individual form? Um, I think I haven't been behind behind the ball as much. Um, I know the first game took me a while to get into it just because I've missed so much um, last year and in the NAB Cup. But I know there's a little bit of areas I have to improve on, which uh, we've worked we've worked through with the coaches. But um, hopefully this week it all comes together. We seem to have a lot of depth in the midfield now. Aaron Hall and Alex Sexton were exceptionally good on the weekend. We've got Gaz, three or four others to come back. Does that depth reduce the reliance on one or two of you to have a standout game week in, week out? Um, yeah, I think on the weekend it showed no one really dominated the game from us, um, especially in the midfield. Uh, it just shows that we don't rely on Gaz or um, any big players to have a lot of possessions or kick all their goals for us. So, um, yeah, Alex has brought his game to another level um, this year and Hawley obviously has, has played really well last year and the start of this year. So, um, yeah, I think it's just as our depth grows and we get Jager and um, Dave back. It just puts more pressure on everyone else in the midfield to perform, and it's just he it's just healthy for the club. So we we got that depth. Our needful boys are playing good footy as well. It's, it's going to be a strong club. Fellow vice captain Tom Lynch re-signed today, and obviously we had two great wins. Is there a sense of excitement around the place now? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, it's great for Lynchy. Um, could always see it see it coming, but um, yeah, especially after the win on the weekend, coming back from Perth and knocking free off at home. Uh, the club's really good feeling at the moment. We just need to make sure we back up this weekend against Carlton. Um, we talked about if we if we lose this weekend, then that last week means nothing. So boys need to, uh, just need to focus and make sure they're doing everything the same as they did last week and get themselves right. Has Rockin spoken to the group about not becoming complacent against Carlton on Saturday? Um, we had a little talk about it just as a playing playing group and Rocket also talked about it's just making sure that we bring our effort and um, bring our structures uh, that we know and the, it, the result will look after itself. So uh, we're not really worried about the scoreboard as we play. Obviously it makes a difference, but we just want to bring that effort and um, consistency with effort as well and the scoreboard will look after itself. It's a good matchup in the centre of the ground. Obviously they've got the likes of Murphy and Cripps. What does the midfield group need to do to ensure we get the four points? Um, yeah, so obviously last week going up against Sandlands was pretty tough, but um, we want to rate ourselves as a really dominant midfield, so uh, it's a good challenge. Can't have some big bodies and some good midfielders who have played consistently over the last couple of years. So um, I think we'll just probably play to our normal structures. Um, obviously, get Tommy Nichols up and about to have a dominant ruck performance. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll go through our meetings today and tomorrow, and yeah, hopefully dominate the midfield. Thanks, you, Tom. Thank you.